This week, we highlight another life well lived. As we celebrate America this 4th of July weekend, we salute the people who have defended the country for all of these 244 years and those who have pushed us toward that ideal of a more perfect union. Nelson Henry Jr. did both. Born and raised in Philadelphia as one of seven children, Henry joined the Army Specialized Training Program while attending Lincoln University during World War II. Private First Class Henry was sent to a pair of segregated bases, one in Virginia, another in Missouri. But a college football knee injury prevented him from shipping off to war with his fellow soldiers. On October 17, 1945, Henry was given a blue discharge, which is neither honorable nor dishonorable. Instead, it was a stamp of sorts, placed mostly upon African-American and gay service members, which prevented them from receiving military benefits like the GI Bill and served as a signal to employers. Between 1941 and 1945, some 48,000 soldiers received a blue discharge. The practice was discontinued in 1947. Henry fought for his honorable discharge, but saw it was futile and moved on with his wife Lydia, to whom he would be married for 71 years. He drove a taxi while getting his degree at Temple University and eventually became a manager at a Philadelphia employment office. Recently, Henry's family took up his fight once again. And just last year, Henry received his honorable discharge from the United States Army, nearly 75 years late. Henry told the Philadelphia Inquirer of the news, I waited so long. This was like a shock, a miracle. Nelson Henry Jr., who served the country honorably and then pushed to make it better, died in Philadelphia of complications from coronavirus. He was 96 years old.